forgot to continue. Here we go. Where the fuck are we now? Walking along a big ass pipe. Bright light. Ow. Big ladder, okay. Anything creepy this time. Ow. Oh. We're outside the ship. We're like getting on it? I think. Where are they getting on it from? From another ship. We're being boarded? Or maybe people are being delivered? What is happening? I mean, the can I thought we were on a ship the whole time, but the ship being next to another ship, I'm a little more confused about. And these very rotund people getting on the ship, I'm a little confused about. Now we're back on, okay. Oh, are these like business people? What is that? Oh god, they're so gross. They're all so fucking gross. Every one of y'all. I guess it's a cruise ship. Okay. We ain't out yet. Apparently these guys are all very, very large because these steps Making the whole place shake every time they walk. God, they're fucking gross. The game is very good at making very gross looking people. That guy with the, the mask like way too tight to his face. Ugh. Oh. There's that figure from the beginning of the game. It's a fucking like brothel ship? Why am I so small on it? And on it. They are gross. Fuck. All this excess meat. Oh, look at that guy eating it. It's gross. Sickening. Ew. Ew. God, our dumb character is gonna get hungry again in a moment, too. No, oh, you didn't see shit. Ah! No, it ate you. I was not expecting him to kick over the fucking table. I've made mistakes again. Get away, God! Ah! Oh. No! Disgusting! This is so gross. Aww. I'm gonna have to get on that table. 
Aren't I? Hey. Yep, y'all seeing me, I know! It's a living fucking thing you want to eat because you're all fucking gross. <laughs> I hate it! How many chins does she have? This lady below me has like five chins. Oh my god, I hate it. Ah! Sounds the sounds of this. Oh, I hate this so much. You know, no, where are you going? Let me go with you. Can I move this chair. I want out, gnome. Hey, man. This place sucks, dude. Why does this place suck so much? The character of those chins? <laughs> yeah. Chins got some character, alright. Okay. Well, back to Nightmare Town. Where I'm gonna have to get onto this table. Alright, here we go. No, 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 no. No 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 I don't know how that guy reached me They're gonna say I'm probably just a rat but they're eating me Hey man I ate a rat So you know I need to hug hug my gnome friend again. Or did I save that already? Am I supposed to go up on the side? Oh, that's still lit. Probably saved it. Am I supposed to go up here? No. No, I think I made the right move here. It's just disgusting and I hate it. No, no, god damn it. I feel like there is a very like small line for you to walk in this spot. Between the hands on a few of these bits. Why can I not climb up? There we go. Uh-huh. Like, like, right there. Those two hands were almost touching. How the fuck am I supposed to get between them? I can shortcut it. No. Darn. I seriously hate the noise in this room. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Aha! Have some wine. I don't... I have no idea how you're supposed to get between those two people right there. Maybe I'm just not supposed to be afraid of the one below? Maybe that one's hitbox is, like, smaller than it looks? Ay ay ay. That 100% grabbed me clear out of my hitbox. Yeah, this section is a little weird. I'll get it. I'll stop getting eaten eventually. Disgusting as this is. Between them. Yeah, I think 
I think I can be closer to the ones on the bottom than I think I can. Just because the camera makes it look like the hand is on me, but it's not. Okay. Alright. That's fair. I think the perspective was just making that harder for me. Hey, Gnome. I'll come say hi to you. Also, why not eat that bread right now? Hold on. Can I? Eat the bread. No? You're always hungry. Eat the bread. God damn it. Good little nightmare thing. Tiny nightmare child. Okay, um... I saw a gnome go left. And I guess that's just where I'm going. No, 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 off no no hey fuck you I'm gonna run on your back you're disgusting I did not run on its back like I meant to everything's fine god and they just crawl around Ugh! I hate them Elevators, something's happening. No. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I don't want to deal with another chef again. No. Uh, I don't know where I was supposed to hide. I guess underneath the sink. Truly super gross. They really are. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. I'm just a toilet paper roll. I'm just a toilet paper roll. Don't worry about me. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. Alright, what am I looking at in here? What's happening? I just could have hidden here. Oh, okay. I feel like this thing fell for a reason. What that reason is, I don't know. Can't drag that around. Can I climb up these pipes? No. I break a mirror. Yes. Barefoot climbing on glass. The really weird perspective thing happening right here. The game is doing a lot of really interesting things with perspective and like foreground and stuff. Despite being more or less locked. Locked camera angle. Fuck. Y'all didn't see that. Y'all saw nothing. Water time. You got it, sandwich. Hmm. Thank you for the water. Oh, 
Stop stressing out, Neil. You got this. Game is easy. It's not scary. It hasn't made stuff pop out at you or just be fucking disgusting. God damn it. Why is walking on this pipe, this specific pipe, such a train wreck? The moment I get on that pipe, it just falls off. <sighs> okay. 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 Don't fall off this pipe in the exact same way again. There we go. That's right. Don't fall off the pipe for no reason. Fall off it here. So I can break this. Nope break this take an elevator ride okay oh I'm hearing them eating again Ugh. no I'm Buddy. Give you a little hug. The man's very gross as he sleeps. Okay. I hear lots of eating again. I hate it. It's fine. I got an achievement! Light up my life! I don't know what that means, but I've been lighting a lot of candles. Something's gonna pop out! No! No, you're gross! God. Ah, stop! Why are there so many? Goddamn stampede of gross! Jesus Christ. Ah! It's fucking gross. Gross, 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 gross. Stop. I don't want it. Oh my God. Ah! Reminds you of a spirited away? Yeah. Me too. Hang on, I just had a fucking There we go. I fixed it. I had a like antivirus pop-up thing pop up going like, hey, you know maybe you should run us right now. And I'm like, no, how about I don't? Oh, of course. What a surprise! We're getting hungry. We only ran past Shit loads of food. You stupid little nightmare person. Hi, Caustic. What's going on? We had so much time to eat bread and meat. There was a whole plate of food that we were next to that it wouldn't eat. Press the raid command. It didn't work. I think Twitch changed some weird bullshit about raids recently where like if you raid with less than five people it doesn't hey gnome you know I trust the gnomes the gnomes are chill I feel like it doesn't um why am I not able to no don't kill the gnome 
He was offering a sausage! What are you doing? Game! Rude! Rude game! I've been hugging all these gnomes! This sausage was right here! Gah! Anyway, I think Twitch changed something. So if you raid with less than five people, it doesn't notify anymore, which is really fucking stupid. Um, so thank you. Hi, Raiders. Hi, Raiders. Welcome to the stream. I'm that Neil J. It's October. And uh, Mondays in October 2016, I believe, is when I started streaming. Every Monday for the month of October, I do horror games instead of regular Let's Plays. Uh, and this year, we're doing Little Nightmares. Um, it's cool. And yes, thank you, Bruce Wayne Brady. Nice to see you again. I'm glad that you enjoyed me coming into your stream and fucking you up in Street Fighter a little bit. I'm glad that made you happy and not uh, discouraged. Hey, weird skinny lady from the beginning of the game. I'm gonna break this doll of you. I went whole hog on him. <laughs> Something like that. I didn't go too crazy. No, I haven't won. I have not won any championships. I'm trying. I'm trying real hard to beat the, or to win the Sure You Can scrimmage that happens every couple weeks. James Chen runs it. It's for, for gold and lower players. Low rank tournament. Uh, and I never do. I never, I never win. I try. I try. We did one yesterday. We did not do very well. <laughs> but yeah, I played Ed. I played Ed and I had a lot of fun. Um, I really do want to learn some other characters in that game, but Ed is definitely my main. My boy Ed and his psycho uppers. I'm, I still can't believe we fucking hugged so many gnomes and then killed one. I'm so mad at my character. My little brain poncho tiny child. My belt's on the way. Okay. Yeah, I... I see you guys playing fighting games all the time, and if Mondays were not already a, uh... Very specifically, like, the Monday thing. As you can see above me here, Monday 210. Uh, we have streamed every single Monday for 210 weeks. I have not missed a single Monday. Um. Yeah, I know. That's what that counter up there is. is that's how many weeks I've been streaming. Mondays. Um, the time has changed. I've made moves. Even, even in the moves I've made, I've not missed Mondays, though. I always make sure to do that Monday stream. Yeah, it's a bit. It's a bit. Uh, so if Mondays weren't already my thing, I'd probably try to join in with you guys doing the fighting game stuff. Oh, God. Was that supposed to happen? No. Okay. That was not supposed to happen. That was... Magic Lady killing me. Alright. The entire aesthetic of this game is fucking great. Also, horror games creep me out and I hate it. That mirror is fucking broken. What is with this lady? Just go nice and slow. Hear heartbeat happening. I hate this. But I would join you guys on fighting games more on Mondays. I also, 
I only own Street Fighter and, um... I only own Street Fighter and Killer Instinct. I don't really have other fighting games. Uh, I've been watching a lot of Dragon Ball Fighters lately. I know it's on PC. Does that game have crossplay? Does anyone know? I shouldn't pick that up. That I know that game is not my kind of fighting game. But DBZ does not. Okay. Even more reason for me to not do it then. But, what are we doing here? Do I just need to break the pot and make the lady mad? Just that fucking picture of, like, a really creepy child right there. Okay. You heard nothing. Lady? MK11 seems more my speed. MK11 is a bit more my speed. I... I haven't played an MK game in a long time. But I... Where the fuck did she go? I broke a thing and she didn't come check on it. And I'm freaking out. Mortal Kombat games... Something about them has never quite grabbed me the same way. I'd be more interested in, like, a Tekken or something. Street Fighter is really the only one I've gotten... I want to say decent at. Um, though way back in the day, I... Played a lot of Dead or Alive 2. I remember really enjoying the, like, counters system in that game. You know what? Did that thing have a fucking key in it? I was supposed to break that pot, and I bet there was a key in there. You bought KI, but you've been having hell making it work. I'm surprised you bought it on the Microsoft Store. Um, I remember playing it on the Microsoft Store for free. I didn't buy it. I bought it on Steam when it was like $10 or something. Uh, and last time I played it like a month ago and it actually worked pretty well. I was expecting her to pop out of the car. I was expecting her to fucking do something. I'm really not sure how I'm not being... Look at some of these fucking pictures on the wall. Hold up. Look at that picture. Like, white dress with a weird belt. And the face is, like, really messed up. I am... Not a fan of this stuff. It's fine. Just creepy stuff. It's fine. We got mannequins everywhere. Eyeball doors. We love eyeball doors. Eyeball doors mean progress. And oh no, DOA. I, so I actually think Dead or Alive, for all the... Oh god. That put out my light. What just happened? Uh... Alright, so Dead or Alive. For all the, um like way too sexualized they make basically everything in that game I actually really like the fighting system in general um it's a lot more about like chain combos blocking is uh def the defensive game is about oh my god no 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 no, 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 no. She just fucking popped out of nowhere. Okay. Anyway. The... The defensive systems in that game 
I actually really liked engaging with and I thought were really cool. Um, kind of similar, kind of similar to, uh, Killer Instinct, actually. Maybe that's part of why I kind of like Killer Instinct. She just, like, popped out. She's, like, is this one. Fucking creepy. Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna go. She just fucking shows up. She just is one of those mannequins, man. Nope. Nope. And then, like, ghost dust followed me? Is she just... She's, like, literally a fucking ghost. Okay. Okay. We're good. Everything's cool. I'm not freaking out. You're freaking out. Uh, but yeah, Killer Instinct with the combo breaker system. I feel like Dead or Alive has a... It's a different system, but it's... It's serving a similar purpose. Um, if you understand how someone's attacking you, you stop it and then you get to take your turn in a cool way. Um, God. I really don't like this room already. Giant eyeballs. There's so many mannequins. The ghost is going to be one of them. I should play Rising Thunder like a hipster. I really liked Rising Thunder. I I think that's part of why I like playing Ed is the execution barrier is a little bit lower. Rising Thunder also had a little bit lower execution barrier. Um I'm looking forward to when the League of Legends fighting game finally happens. Let's just fucking run. Fucking run. Room is huge. Okay. Well, okay. Now I'm really curious. I thought it was gonna like pop out. What the heck is back here? Nothing here? I'd say no gnomes for me to hug, but I fucking killed them because I'm terrible. I'm still so mad at the main character right now. There's always Blaze Blue. Yeah, I'm. So. I'm not a big. Um, I'm not a big anime fighters person in general because. Those games tend to, I feel like, require a level of execution. And I know I know a lot of modern ones have the auto combo systems and stuff that can help you out. But there's a level of execution that I am just not comfortable with myself, I guess. Um, it's also part of why the... Uh, like Marvel vs. Capcom games and stuff have been a little rougher for me. Games where you have to learn multiple characters for a single for a single team are a lot harder for me to wrap my head around in a way that I feel like I can get competent at. Um, I under I I like watching some of them though. It's not like I don't understand why people like them, but okay, what am I not seeing in this room? Oh, I can just climb this. That doesn't help me. Can I, like, push this mirror over? Uh... What? Let's just go back. Maybe this room changed. I really feel like I need to find something in here, though. Why would it send me here if there was nothing? Not even a gnome, right? 
How am I digging little nightmares? It's been alright so far. It's got me a couple times. It, it hasn't been too bad. It's more gross and creepy than it is scary. Generally speaking. What the fuck? I really feel like I'm missing something. We escaped the ghost lady in here. Who might just fucking show up again. I'm gonna run. I'm ready to run. I'm ready to run. Fuck this, I'm out. No, don't go back this way. The game does not want you to go back this way. Whatever's happening. Whatever I need, I need it over here and I missed it. Can't climb that. The noise that ghost makes right there. Just like, I feel, I'm feeling it in my goddamn, like, pit of my stomach. I hate it. Can I pick this up and I'm dumb? Yes. I can pick this up and I'm dumb. I think I need to shine the mirror into the ghost's face. Are we cool? We're not cool. Oh God. Fuck off. And we need to shine light in it. Okay. Where's the light? Where's the light? Where's the light? Over here. I'm ready. Fucking ready. I got a mirror, bitch. Fuck you. Don't like the way you explode, ghost lady. Shit. No! Oh. Ah! Oh. Fine. Everything's fine. The recoil on this mirror is wicked. Yeah, it is. Hey. So bad, this is easy. I'm sure the game is gonna fuck me up somewhere along the way, but right now, we're fine. Stop it! Oh, mirror broke. Fuck. Uh huh. Oh. Oh no. Are we gonna eat her? Are we gonna eat a ghost? You're joking, right? Is that really where this is going? Is we're gonna eat the fucking ghost? I guess we really are a vampire. But also we're a vampire that can eat ghosts. Uh, why is darkness swirling around us? Uh 
Aha. Okay. What else have I eaten? I ate some bread. I ate some meat. I ate a rat. I ate a gnome. Hi, hi, pig people. Are we gonna eat all the pig people too? Oh, we're doing something to them. Oh. Oh no. Yeah. Uh. Well. I think we may have become the villain, y'all. Oh boy. Nice cameo from a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, this is a hell of an aura. Sucking the life out of people by walking around. Hi there, I'm a nightmare. I have become the little nightmare. Hi door. Oh, oh it's opening for us. Are we free? Now what this is about? The Ladies Quarters. Okay, we got an achievement. We beat the chapter at least. Uh-huh. Oh, hey gnomes. I tell you to follow me, but I'm afraid this character might kill you too. So maybe don't. We're gonna the lights not very vampiric. You're right. Well, I guess that was the main game. I'm pretty sure this game has DLC. Um Which I enjoyed this enough that I'm going to, if I don't already have that DLC, I'm going to pick up the DLC. Uh, and we'll check that out next week. But I liked this. Mostly. It got me a couple times. It's really gross. One minute review of Resident Evil 2 Remake. Okay. Um. Sure. Resident Evil 2 Remake is really good because they managed to make that game feel fresh without uh, compromising what made that game uh, scary and good from the past. Um, I personally think the Resident Evil 4 and beyond really detracted from what made the Resident Evil series feel like a survival and horror game rather than uh, an action game with scary elements. And Resident Evil 2 Remake really managed to bring back that horror and survival feeling um, while still making it play in a modern sense. So it's, it's probably one of the best remakes that I've ever played, as far as remakes are concerned. Uh, five out of five. Admittedly, I also only played through one of the, uh, storylines. I could go back in there, play the other one this October if we wanted. That is still sitting around waiting for us if we want to go through as Chris. Or Leon. You're right, Leon. 
Uh, I played I played as Claire. I have not done a Leon playthrough. Played Leon first. I've heard like there's subtle differences and stuff depending on who you do first and a bunch of other stuff that's pretty interesting. But I wanted to play something new. I hadn't played this yet. This was really cool. I'm actually a lot more interested in um, Little Nightmares 2. There's a sequel to this coming out soon. I feel like that that medium there's a game called medium being made by blue blooper team the people that did uh layers of fear and did observer two games we played on here that were pretty fucking scary and cool um and medium looked really interesting and different for what they've been doing in the past and i'm pretty interested in that game i want to if that comes out soon enough maybe we'll try to do that this month if it doesn't that might be a next year game though paratopic is a spooky short game i'll put it on my list i don't know that one paratopic let me get that in a list of something. Hey, notes. I like notes. Here are topic. What's my hot take on Little Nightmares? Have I played Amnesia? Uh, first off, what's my hot take on Little Nightmares? My hot take on this is... It did not overstay its welcome. I, I would happily play more of this game. I think they did a really fucking good job with the aesthetic. That, that really... The aesthetic really brought a lot to this game in a way that I'm really happy about. Um... Like, just, just the way th the, the obstacles, I guess, moved. The, the enemy characters and stuff moved. Every single one of them was really gross, really creepy. Really unique. Um, and so the art direction really just went a long way to making... making the rest of it feel cool. Um, I would have liked a little bit more guidance in one or two spots. Um, for example, when we had to throw the thing at that button, it gave us like a prompt that was like, hey, throw the fucking, like when, gra when holding on to something, press this to throw it. Um, and it did not say things like uh, hold the trigger to climb, which I think would have really helped me at the beginning of the game. And then the rest of the game, I usually found the spots, but that first one, I was just like, what the fuck does this game want from me? Because there was no direction. Um, that was probably the biggest spot where I was just confused. Um, Associate Project Manager Yoko Ono. What? It's fine. I really like the music. I think they did a great job with the... The music being fucking... That, like... Not whimsical, but, like... Using... Using the... Thanks, Yoko Ono. The music did a lot with, uh, like, pretty, pretty sounds in a creepy context. Like the, the light piano here. They did a really good job of making the piano 
uh, feel like it was ominous, despite being rather, like, cheery otherwise, I guess. I don't know. I think altogether, the package is really fucking good, is basically what it is. I think this is a really good, creepy, suspenseful, gross game with a couple, a couple good gotcha moments in it. Bandai Namco. Bandai Ono. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this game has some DLC. I'm going to pick it up before next week. This game seems cool. If I don't already have it. I might already have it. I'm not sure. Oh. Something's not done. Thank you for playing. Okay, maybe it is done. I guess this is the top of the... Were we in a submarine? What is... What is going on? I can't tell if the camera is slowly zooming in or not. Oh, I hit A. I hit back. Underground island? I don't know. That was weird. There's always a lighthouse. Uh, extras? Masks. The heck? Can I, like, put that on my character or something? Concept art. I unlocked a little bit of concept art. Y'all, gross! They did a very good job of making those faces look like what they look like in the game. What is even happening in that one? Ugh! Yeah, there's some, uh, definitely Spirited Away vibes right here. So gross. 